For his awesome commitments to the fields of material science, Michio Kaku has, as a matter of fact, demanded that the James Webb Space Telescope has seen six massive structures that experts believed were incapable of existing. These evaluations have the believability to open up new perspectives on the manner in which we could translate the universe. The openness is both enrapturing and modestly testing existing hypotheses about the new improvement and development of universes. It means a lot to look out for these updates, and the confirmation by such perceived experts highlights the meaning of these discoveries. Michio Kaku is an astounding figure in the scientific field, a physicist of American and Japanese legacy. He is seen as an expert in both conventional material science and quantum mechanics, rather than some more moderate and problematic subject matter experts. Kaku has been open to the astounding, conceded eventual outcomes of the James Webb Space Telescope mission. His energy to embrace new disclosures and offer them with the public shows his commitment to propelling our understanding of how we could interpret the universe. We are satisfied that this perceived expert has chosen to end his silence and straightforwardly share what can never again be denied. The fervor, practically tangible, in tone of the well-known physicist is clear in his remarks on the disclosures made by the James Webb Space Telescope, appearing that this has been an improvement that has reignited his interest. Join us as we explore the repercussions of Kaku's exposure of these six titanic structures. Kaku is a specialist who has forever had the ability to think about new theories. Throughout his life, he has shown a responsiveness to ideas that challenge conventional reasoning, grasping that Einstein's speculations of relativity and Newton's laws, while significant, are incomplete in fully making sense of the universe's complicated design. Kaku believes that the discoveries of the new telescope could advance the area of cosmology. However, many of his peers still can't embrace this view. This has caused concern and nervousness among Big Bang theorists and critics of quantum mechanics. But this only draws laughter from Kaku. The James Webb Space Telescope has revealed six monstrous universes, tracing all the way back to the earliest seasons of the universe. Each of these tremendous systems contains more stars than our own Milky Way, notwithstanding having formed only 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The group of cosmologists who made the discovery has named these brilliant infinite frameworks universe breakers. If confirmed, they would profoundly change our understanding of the universe. The aftermath of these disclosures is gigantic, suggesting that the universe's early years were undeniably more unique and complex than previously thought. The theory of how things began tells us that the universe was wild after the Big Bang. The first solid objects required millions of years to form, and it took even more years for these objects to reach sufficient density and produce light. The development of complex structures like galaxies was believed to have happened much later. Some of the recently found large systems surpass the Milky Way in size, and their enormous brightness suggests they were likely forming many new stars each year, while our galaxy forms stars only irregularly. It remains unclear exactly when the first structures formed, and scientists have not yet settled this. The one thing clear is that, at the beginning, there may have been only individual stars or groups of stars that eventually merged to form larger structures over time. Smaller systems supported larger, more enormous frameworks. Previously, it was believed that such gigantic and complex systems were incapable of existing at that time, which raises the question of whether the universe is much older than previously believed, or if such massive systems formed much sooner than expected. This situation is hard to reconcile with moderate science, which still finds issues with this model. Some areas of material science have expressly dismissed these discoveries and questioned the accuracy of age estimates. Kaku is mindful of this and had this to say, There are various models and outdated hypotheses that obstinately persist due to the influence of certain subject matter experts. Many of these hypotheses were scientifically exposed when fundamental analysis uncovered their flaws. The reality in any science, particularly in physics, rests with the investigation of experimentalists who keep the theory sharp and on target. Truly, on Earth, we have very little information about the true origins of the universe. Kaku continued. This explanation highlights the significance of constant testing, updating, and affirmation in the scientific process. The theory of how things came to be was first spread out in 1927, based on observations of the universe's expansion. This data led to the conclusion that the universe began from a single, infinitely dense point and has been expanding ever since. At the time, 
It was hard for people and researchers to imagine a universe with both a beginning and an end. The possibility of an eternal universe was beyond human comprehension. Even today, scientists still struggle to fully grasp it. However, it is important to consider these possibilities, even if the new discoveries don't align with what specialists have accepted for a long time regarding the theory of how things began. Science has shown time and again that reassessment and openness to groundbreaking ideas are central to the scientific process, similar to the affirmation of specific hypotheses and observations. When Einstein was young, it was once believed that stars and planets were fixed in the universe and that these specific arrangements occupied a defined space. But we now know that everything in the universe is moving. Planets orbit stars, stars move within. Their galaxies at speeds of a few kilometers per second, and entire galaxies move rapidly through the universe, whose ultimate destiny we still can't predict. This surprising understanding of the universe challenges long-held beliefs and highlights the need for constant inquiry and change in our scientific reasoning. Today, researchers are challenged to recognize anomalies and understand that theories are incomplete insights until they have been thoroughly tested or confirmed by experimental observation. The idea of the Big Bang emerged from the observation that galaxies are moving away from each other, and this distance is relative to their separation from Earth. This understanding, known as Hubble's Law, suggested that the universe was expanding over time. Factors like cosmic background radiation and the redshift of light from distant galaxies, along with other cosmological patterns, appear to support this hypothesis. However, it is important to remember that, in the past, people who believed the Earth was flat and that the Sun revolved around us also had observational evidence for their beliefs until new events or technological advancements came along that provided a clearer picture. Right now, we are seeing a similar situation. Scientists anticipated the new James Webb Space Telescope to confirm questions related to the theory of how things came to be. But instead, they may have encountered these six enormous systems that seemed impossible. This shows that science is constantly advancing, and researchers must remain open to new discoveries and reconsider existing theories in light of the available evidence. The amazing discoveries have tested current understanding and prompted a reassessment of well-established cosmological theories. Scientists use redshift as a tool to calculate various measurements in the study of the universe. Redshift, also known as the Doppler effect, refers to the change in the color of light as light sources and observers move relative to each other. To understand this, imagine stopping and hearing a car approaching you. As the car gets closer, the sound of the engine gets louder. But when the car passes or moves away, the sound changes. This happens because the sound waves change as the vehicle moves. The same is true for light. When a light source, like a distant star, approaches us, the light shifts to bluer tones. Conversely, when the light source moves away, the light shifts to redder tones. This phenomenon is called redshift. Physicists have converted redshift values into rates and distances for measurements in the study of the universe. However, it's important to note that even a small mistake in these measurements can have significant consequences. The previous evaluation methods are now under review. The latest discoveries related to our universe require consideration of whether they are truly based on redshift errors or if some scientists are simply dismissing current realities. This is a question that requires careful assessment and a thorough review of the data and methods used in the investigation. The ongoing assessment and reassessment of measurement methods highlight the growing understanding of constant inquiry. Thank you for watching the video. As always, we remind you to post your inquiries in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and share it so it reaches more people. Also, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more content like this. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. This call to action encourages viewers to engage with the content, fostering a community of curious minds eager to explore and understand the latest scientific discussions. The exploration of our universe, with its vast distances and complex bodies, continues to captivate and challenge scientists all over the world. From early theories about the universe to the latest discoveries made possible by cutting-edge technology, each discovery reshapes how we might interpret the universe and extends the limits of human knowledge. One of the most significant and enduring questions in cosmology revolves around the origin and evolution of galaxies. Galaxies are like vast cities of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter, 
bound together by gravity. Understanding how galaxies form and evolve is crucial, not only for unraveling the mysteries of our universe, but also for testing or confirming existing theories. For example, the Big Bang Theory, proposed nearly a century ago, suggests that the universe began from a single, infinitely dense point and has been expanding ever since. This idea arose from observations of the universe's expansion and the cosmic microwave background radiation, considered remnants of the early universe's intense energy and light. However, recent discoveries, especially those made by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have challenged several key concepts central to the theory of how things came to be. The JWST, with its remarkable sensitivity and resolution, has identified galaxies that appear far larger and more advanced than expected for their age. One such discovery includes six massive galaxies dating back to when the universe was only 200 to 700 million years old, a mere flicker in its 13.8 billion year history. These galaxies, named universe breakers by the research team, challenge conventional thinking, as they are already so massive and bright at such an early astronomical age. The discovery of these systems raises intriguing questions about the rapid development of the early universe and challenges existing models of galaxy formation. According to prevailing theories, galaxies form gradually over billions of years through the merging of smaller systems and the accumulation of gas and stars. The existence of these massive systems so early in cosmic history suggests a much more complex and possibly faster process of galaxy formation than previously thought. Moreover, the discovery underscores the crucial role of technological advancements in reshaping how we understand the universe. The JWST's ability to peer deeper into space and capture faint light from distant galaxies has allowed astronomers to uncover previously invisible parts of the universe's early development. These insights provide valuable clues about the conditions and processes that governed galaxy formation during the universe's infancy. The implications of these discoveries extend beyond cosmology. They challenge researchers to revisit and refine existing cosmological models to better account for the observed diversity and complexity of galaxies over vast timescales. They also highlight the dynamic and evolving nature of scientific knowledge, where new discoveries can prompt future breakthroughs and open new avenues for research. As scientists continue to analyze and interpret the data from the JWST and other observatories, the study of galaxy formation remains an exciting and rapidly advancing field. Each new discovery brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of our origins and helps us understand the fundamental processes that have shaped the universe as we know it today.